Guten Tag. I didn't decide what I was going to talk about in today's tea vlog. I just uh, thought it had been a little while and I should make a new vlog. The first thing that came to mind as something going on in my life of significance was that I've started studying German. Um, I don't know if I even have much to say about it. Like, I've just been... I got a pile of vocabulary. It's not a very large pile. And I've got a handful of phrases, and there's all stock phrases. And, like, I can say noun und noun. So I can be like, uh, der Kessel und das Wasser. Which doesn't really make for a vlog. So, I'm just gonna make up something to talk about, hopefully in time for it not to be completely awkward. It's already a little awkward. You know, I could talk about the word awkward and the word weird, actually. Just, this one is completely raw, so it's probably going to be a bit hesitant, but I... So a thing that I've been catching myself doing is talking about such and such feeling weird. Uh, such as being weird. Um, like, neo pronouns. I use zizir pronouns. Um, uh, Z is doing a T vlog. Uh, zir T vlog. Uh, the T vlog, that is Zir's. Um, starring Zir self. Uh, but, uh, it, the phrase I would have said at the time was, it feels weird asking people to use neo-pronouns for you, asking people to put new words into their minds and mouths and fingers, because I spend a lot of time socializing my text, to represent you. And weird is the wrong word. Awkward, I think, is the word. Because yes, it's it's awkward. It, it, it is not something that you have like societal permission to just go there. And there's nothing inherently wrong with something being awkward, but it is awkward. It is a little bit of social stress making it happen. It's a little bit of social anxiety about trying to make it happen. It's awkward. Weird, on the other hand, really, what weird means should not be awkward. Because yes, these ear pronouns are weird. But lots of things are weird, and to use weird to mean awkward is to say that being weird is a faux pas. And I don't think it should be. I don't think it's right to treat being weird as being out of ordinary bounds, as something where people are like, uh, what do we do now? Um, Frankly speaking, I think the world will be a better place when people are a lot more comfortable with themselves being weird and others being weird. Because not feeling awkward about being weird is one of the things that's gotten in the way of my happiness for my whole life. There's so many, so much stuff, starting with figuring out I was trans at all.
There's so much stuff. Starting with my being trans at all, that it was not normal, and so how could this possibly be? Well, turns out that normal is just something... Is it's a, it's a social construct in the same way that money is a social construct and the law is a social construct. It is... Normal is an invention of how we talk about normal, how we talk about weird, how we talk about what is and is not normal, what we act surprised by, what we act upset by. What we encourage people to do, what we assume about people, etc. and so on and so on. Normal is a story told in a thousand different implicit ways about what reality is like. Normal is... Uh, it's Thursday today, so normal is tomorrow's Friday. It's weird for me to say tomorrow's Friday unless... As if that is knowledge that I am imparting. Because it's, it's only knowledge if you don't know today is Thursday. The seven days of the week for people in the United States like me are normal. They are unthought about. They are just taken for granted. It is... You act as if there are seven days in the week occurring in this order... And if that doesn't happen, then something cataclysmic has gone on. And with the case of days of the week, meh, who cares? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really, like, whatever, days of the week, bleh. That, that, that isn't ruining anyone's life. But a lot of normal is. A lot of normal is... A lot of bigotry is, isn't is about hating people, it's about thinking they're not normal and not taking, and not perceiving them for what they are. Like, an ADHD kid who forgets an assignment being treated as disobedient as opposed to needing better tools to track assignments and get them done. Intellectual tools and tool, tools, calendars, whatever. Awkwardness is just awkwardness. I don't think that there's a... I don't want to, like, argue with the common understanding of the ethical questions around awkwardness. Because it's just awkwardness. We know what awkwardness is, and I don't have any reason yet to propose dramatic changes to how we understand awkwardness. But I would propose changes to how we understand normal. As part of proposing that weird is fine, it's not awkward, it's just unexpected. It's just stuff that didn't get normal, normalized, treated as normal. And a lot of that stuff is completely fine and should be treated as such. And really what creates awkwardness is that it isn't. I don't know why that kettle made the noise there, but I'm going to go ahead and call it while I have something like a coherent ending. Have a good one.